welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time since I've sat down and filmed a video for you guys. I had some video planned, videos planned, but I don't know, work just got in the way, life got in the way, but I am back. So I hope you guys are looking forward to a lot of new video, a lot of new videos from me. And today I'm going to come with a new video, obviously. It's going to be my April favorites. And I know it's kind of early, but I feel like if I don't sit down and do it now, I'll forget about it and I'll look at other people's April favorites and be like, oh, and I'd rather be early than late, so that's my motto. <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, make sure if you haven't to check out my blog, which is lovelybeautyox.blogspot.com because that's where I've been updating you guys on what's going on in, in my life and, you know, little blog updates and things that I've been loving doing and everything so if I don't upload a video most likely I have a blog post on my blog so you guys will never miss any of me so I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get right into it alright so for my I'm gonna start out with makeup favorites and my first makeup favorite is the Naked Basics palette. I caved and I got this. Um, I really wanted the um, Naked, the regular Naked palette or the Naked 2, but I couldn't really get myself to spend $50 on it because I don't wear eyeshadow that often. Usually I just wear mascara and a little eyeliner and then I'm ready to go. So this one was like perfect. It was only like $25, I think, 20, 27 maybe. And if I can open it, but um, it just comes, no, it's kind of dirty because I used it, it just comes with all of these shadows and they're all pretty much matte except for this one which is I use as a highlight shade which is called Venus. But all of them are so, so pigmented and this is like my first like kind of high end eyeshadow purchase and I am so happy that I did. I actually used this on my um, sister, she had a photo shoot recently, and that's kind of the reason that I got it, because I really wanted the eyeshadows to be prominent um, when she was taking the photos. So um, this was such a great purchase, and I see myself using this more and more. I use the color right here, Faint. I don't want to blind you guys. Faint, the dark brown, to line my lower lash line, just to give my eyes a little bit more definition, and it looks so natural and so great, and all of these, and Naked 2, which is this color right here, is a great natural crease color. If you just want to give your crease um, a natural definition, um, that color is perfect for it, so I've been loving using this, and it's so cute and compact, you can put it in your bag and just be set to go. So I've really, really been loving this. This is my first favorite. My next favorite you might have seen me use in my last video, which is the middle school um, makeup routine. And this is the Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer from NYX. And it just looks like this. And it's a pot concealer. And I've used a lot of it. And this stuff is so creamy. And this is so creamy and lightweight on your skin. You really don't feel like you're wearing makeup at all. And because, you know, spring and summer is coming, I don't really like to wear foundation. And I feel like sometimes a BB cream can make my skin really oily because I already do have oily skin. So just using a concealer to cover up any darkness or redness on my face really is like what I like to do because I don't, I have pretty decent skin so I really don't need a full coverage foundation for when it's hot outside and it'll just melt off my face. But I really love this and you can get this at Ulta. So it's a great drugstore product, and um, yeah, I've really been loving this as well. My next favorite is something that I've kind of like j just forgot about, and I don't know why, but I've been using so many other mascaras that I've kind of forgot about this one. But it is the Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express, and it comes in the yellow tube. And this is like one of the first Maybelline mascaras I tried, I think, and I am absolutely in love with it. I'm wearing it today. And I don't know why I stopped using it. It's just so great. And it makes my eyelashes look so full and super duper thick. And I love the bristle that it has because it just, it really grabs your lashes and lengthens them and volumizes them. And actually my mom bought this and I was like, oh, I forgot I even like used that because I've been using like 
other Maybelline uh, mascaras because they always mm -hmm. come out with new ones. But this one, it's just like so great and I don't know why I stopped using it. I, I just question why I stopped using it. But uh, I still love the Rocket Volume Express or whatever. Um, but this one, I definitely, when I'm done with the Rocket, I'm definitely going to go out and repurchase this because it just works so well. So I definitely recommend if you're looking for a new uh, mascara that gives you length and volume, definitely check this one out because it's great and I just dropped it. So, yay! <laughs> My next beauty favorite has been the Nivea Lip Butters. I think I've mentioned this too much in my videos, but literally it just moisturizes your lips so, so well, and it smells delicious. It just smells like candy, and it just, oh, it smells like cupcakes, and I just love it, and I put this on, like, before I do my makeup, I have it on right now, um, just to moisturize my lips if I'm gonna put, like, a lipstick on or something, and then before I go to bed, just to give my, um, lips a little bit of hydration and give them something, you know that they're not dry but um yeah I just really love this I got mine at CVS I have seen them at Walmart now so if they don't have them at CVS definitely check your local Walmart but I'm so in love with this it's just a great product so definitely check these out this is a favorite too my next favorite is actually my hair favorite of the month and if you guys have seen one of my past videos I don't remember which one it was but it was when I wore my hair curly um I told you guys that I would do a curly hair routine and that is coming definitely um, but what I use to get it kind of more of that scrunched um, curly wavy look is Infusium 23 and it is a leave-in treatment to hydrate your hair and this just really helps um, my hair stay moisturized when because a lot of times when um, I wear my hair curly it gets very dry and like almost brittle like but I put this in after I shampoo and condition it and what well, I use this to scrunch it and it holds the curl really well and it actually smells pretty good and my dad actually <laughs> uses this too just to get, keep his hair moisturized and um it just it's really light so it's not like a heavy leave-in conditioner it's you can hear it it's like almost like a spray but I just like drizzle it oh drizzle it like dressing hmm uh, I just drizzle it over my hair and um, scrunch it and kind of massage it into my roots and everything and then it ma it smells fantastic so it's not like it's gonna give you a weird smell to your hair but I love this product I've been using it since like middle school when I used to wear my hair wavy so definitely check this out if you're looking for a good leaving conditioner Next favorite is actually my non-beauty favorites of the month, and that is my fashion favorite. And literally, guys, I've been wearing this item so much, and I actually have a city style video coming up when I recently went to New York City um, for just a weekend with my family. And um, yeah, I, I literally wore this cardigan. I think every day because it wasn't like cold enough to wear a jacket but it was like cold enough where I needed something with long sleeves over my body but it's like this super cute like graphic pattern almost like I don't even know how to describe it like Aztec print and it's black and white I got this from a store called pay half um, and it's like a store where like you can get like it's almost like TJ Maxx where you can get like designer brands for cheaper and everything like that and really cute clothes for cheap and um, but the quality isn't cheap and it just looks like this and it kind of is shorter in the back but the front too is kind of longer I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it but um, literally I've worn this so much I've worn this to work I've got compliments on it and um, I really love this and it keeps you warm and cozy and comfy and it's just super duper great so I love this my next non-beauty favorite is actually my pair my headphones um, and these are the Beats by Dre and they're in the white color and I actually got this as a birthday gift from one of my friends last year and I love how they fold up and they actually came in like a little um, black carrying case but I don't have that with me at the moment but you can like unplug them 
And, like, here's the wire. And, like, I know, like, a lot of guys, like, wear them like that. Like, I see them on the train all the time like this. And I'm just like, somebody can snatch those off of your neck and then you'll be out of luck. But, you know, to each his own. But I really love these. And they're, the quality of the sound that comes out of these is so good. Like, you literally don't get to hear how music is really supposed to sound unless you invest in really great headphones. Like, the way that the artists want you to hear their music is through these headphones. Um, I actually do have a pair that I bought from TJ Maxx that, um, are like these kind of headphones, but, um, even they were, like, great, but they weren't, like, as great as these. And I suggest, like, if you can invest in great headphones, then definitely do it because it'll change your, um, way of listening to music. And these, like, block out any extra noise and, you know, listening to them, like, on the bus or on the train, you know, in the morning when, like, you don't want to really talk to anybody. But these are so great and I love the color. They're really sleek. And these are the Solo HD ones. They're the smaller ones, not the, like, big giant honkers on your ears. But I love these so much and, um, yeah, I really, I really... Love you, so thank you to who got these for me. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so for my favorite person of the month, it is um, Quincy. And he um, is, he, he is, um, he is a singer slash rapper, and uh, he is actually P. Diddy's, or I don't even know what he goes by now. What does he, what does he go by? I don't know. P. Diddy. I don't know. Um, his, like, stepson, half-son, I don't know. But, um, he actually came out with a few songs, and my favorite song of his is called Stay A While. And, um, it's, the video is so adorable, and he's so cute and such an amazing artist, and he actually hangs out with, um, Justin Bieber and, like, his group of friends and everything like that, so, um... You've probably seen pictures of him and not known who he was um, with Justin, but his music is so great, and he has just such a nice, like, vibe about him, and it really makes him, like, attractive, not only as, like, this um, entertainer, but just as a person, um, you know, so I really, really love his music, and I'll link um, his music down below if you guys want to go check it out, and, um, yeah, like, you can follow him on Twitter and Instagram, and because I do, and I'm obsessed with him, but it's, he's such a great artist, and I can't wait for him to, like, super duper blow up so that the world can see him, but, yeah, he's been my favorite person of the month. My favorite music, kind of, of the month, I'm gonna get my laptop, actually, because I don't know what I've been listening to, because I really haven't been listening to my phone. I've been listening to, kind of, Pandora, more, and Spotify. Yeah, those have been my, um, favorite things of the month. So I'm really not even going to give you a song. I'm just going to say Pandora. Beyonce Pandora, though, that is where it's at. you got to get ready to that every morning. Beyonce Pandora, it's just great. And then Spotify, I have my whole, like, um, starred playlist. 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 And, um, one of my favorite songs actually has been, um, Just Give Me a Reason by Pink and Nate Russ, I think his name is. He's from, um, the group Fun. And literally every time that song comes on in the car, I just, like, sing it and belt it out. But it's just such a cute song, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard it, because it's all over the radio. And I'm still listening to Justin Timberlake's album, because it's just that fantastic. Mirrors, when Mirrors comes on the radio, it's a wrap. Like, I just have to sing to it. But, yeah. Um, actually, I have one more thing. My favorite movie and TV show of the month. My favorite movie, Aquamarine. I've had this on DVD for the longest time, and I found it when I was cleaning my room. And I was like, oh my god, I love this movie. Like, I don't know why I love it so much, but it's just such a cute honest movie and I just I just love it and when I first saw it I was like this is this is like a classic and my favorite TV show of the month I recently um rewatched the show um Teen Wolf on Netflix I did watch it when it was like on TV and everything but because the new season's coming out June 3rd so excited I kind of wanted to just like 
remind myself of like what happened, you know, because I haven't seen it in a long time. But um, it's just it's just as good as it was the first time, and um, it's it's it gets you hooked. It really does. Like you just want to see what happens next, and I'm like. Oh, I'm almost done with the second season. I think I have like one or two episodes left. But that's what I do like before I go to sleep. I just watch an episode and then I'm like, oh my god, it's so good. I can't wait for the next season. But yeah, I think that is definitely it for my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoy. And let me know what your April favorites are down below. If you want to do a video response, maybe that would be great. I want to, you know, get to see my viewers and people that are watching my videos. So, yeah, that'll be it for today. And make sure to look forward to bloopers after this. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video, which will be very soon. I don't want to leave you guys hanging like I have. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Now watch me work. I'm so hungry. Oh, my stomach is growling.